Okay, so before this video starts, I'd just like to say this is a shortened down version of B.Awesome's version. So I'll put a channel link in the description if you want to check them out. Also, thank you guys so much for 10k. We hit it so fast and I never thought I'd even hit 100 subs on this channel. So thank you guys so much. I'm still working on getting the merch out. So stay tuned for that. But without further ado, let's get in the video. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is download Unity Hub. And once you download that, go to the installs place. Um, and then click install editor. Install the recommended version. Uh, I got 2021.3.11 F1, but I think any other one will work. But when you install it, make sure to do Android build support and all of these three things. Make sure all of these three things are checked, otherwise it won't work. Then continue, and just download it. So once you've installed your version with Android on it, make sure it has the Android stuff, and click project, new project. Make sure it's on 3D core. Then name it, I'm just gonna name it Tut, short for tutorial. Then make sure it's in the location that you want it to be, and then just click create project. Okay, then once you've got this loaded in, you wanna go to edit, project settings, XR plugage management, and install XR plugage management. Plugage, I can't speak, plugin management. Then once you've installed that, you wanna click open XR, and it should be installing that. Then once it loads over here, click plus, valve index controller, and oculus touch controller. Okay, then while it's still on this page, when it says render mode, in single pass, change it to multi-pass. Android, single pass, change it to multi-pass. Then add plus, and then do oculus touch controller. And then go back to XR, plugage manage, XR plugin management, then click oculus to download the oculus part. Then once you're in here, go to the monitor, single pass to multi-pass, Android multi view the multi pass, and now it'll work for Quest and Quest 2 devices. Oh, wait, make sure to turn on low overhead mode too. Then you can just close out of that and save. Now, go to window up here, package manager, click the plus, add package from git URL, and you just want to type in com.unity.xr.interaction.toolkit. Click add, and then it'll install something. Then what? Then just click import on starter assets. Okay, then if it didn't bring you in here already, just go to assets, samples, extra interaction, 2.2.0, whatever it says, starter assets. Then once you're in here, you want to click on all of these electrical box things. You know, in Among Us, the, the task and electrical. Yeah, it's just these. And then on all of these, nothing else, just click add to the add to action based stuff. Okay, then once you added all of them, go to edit, project settings, preset manager. Then for here where it says like XRI default right controller, since it's the right controller, you just wanna type in right, no spaces or anything, no capitals. Then here it says left, so that's the left controller. Then you wanna go, I'll put it in the link in the description, go to this link where it's the actual real grill tag locomotion that they use in grill tag. Click real tag locomotion.unity package, then click download, and it'll download to wherever you put it. So I'm just gonna put it in here. Then come back into Unity, go to assets, right click, import package, custom package, and then just I'm just gonna import it, open. Make sure everything is checked off, everything has a check mark, then just click import. Then just click reload. And I think you should have it now. So now you can just start making a basic map if you want. So if you don't know how it works, to move, hold down right click and then just use WASD. Then you can, when you're holding it on right click, you can scroll to change your speed. And then if you're not holding down, you can zoom in and out. These are like all the things, you know, rotate, move, scale, another scale, and transform. Pretty cool. So I'm just gonna get working on my starter map. And if you want to add colors, you can just create folder materials, materials, and click that. Right click, create material, and you can just name it to like grass or whatever or green. Click here. Then I'm just gonna make my floor a grassy color. Then there's two ways to add it. You can either drag it onto here, or you can drag it up here. 
Then I'm just gonna make a couple of things. I'm just gonna add a couple of the planks, you know, because Gorilla Tag has the planks. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. And once you're in here where it says main camera, double click on that, right click, delete. Then you wanna go to assets where it says resources, Gorilla thing. Then here where it says grill lit rig, just drag it somewhere into your thing. I'm just gonna put it right here, move it up. So it's, they spawn about right here. And this is where you, they spawn. So wherever you put it, that's where you want them to spawn. Now it is ready to test. So you just wanna plug in your headset using a lit ri ri link cable or just using uh, air link, whatever you want. Then you can just plug in and then click this button. Okay, so as you can see here, I am loaded in, playing like a good monkey. And it's very bit laggy for me. But, as you can see here, we have our planks. I put them kind of too far apart. Make sure you, you want to scale like all your blocks and stuff to the size of the player. So it's not too big far apart because, you know, this just isn't playable. Don't scare your player model, otherwise it won't mess everything up. And I'm gonna show you guys how to get multiplayer now. Okay, so how to get multiplayer is you wanna go to this link, Normcore, either create an account or if you've used it before, sign in. You just wanna click on download. Then it should take you to this Unity link. You just wanna sign in on Unity and click add to my assets. Then you just wanna click open in Unity, then open Unity editor. Okay, so actually you wanna download it. It says re-download for me because I already have downloaded it, but you just wanna download, then click import, then make sure everything is checked, and click import. Okay, then once it's downloaded, you can just exit out of this and X out of that. Now go to assets, normal, examples, VR player, and this thing right here, real time plus. Okay. And you just want to click on this blue block boxing, then drag it on Gorilla Rig, not above or down. So you see the blue line just directly on it. So when your mouse is over it, just let go. Now you should have this thing inside your Gorilla Rig. Okay, so do this very carefully. Down here where it says like root manage real time avatar manager, you want to you want to drag you want to open Grill Player, then drag root gorilla player main camera to head left hand controller to left hand and right hand controller to right hand okay then once you're done with that come back to norm core click applications add new application then just make it whatever you want whatever your game name is i'm just gonna name it tutorial click save okay then once you've gotten it it should be like an app key thing underneath underneath it. Control C, go to Unity, then go back to real time plus VR player where it says app key right here, just paste it in. Now your multiplayer works. So now just go to file and save. Okay, so now to actually publish the game, so like you can use APK and stuff, come down to here, project settings, player, Android, other settings, then, okay, other settings, Scroll down to here, identification, where it says version and bundle code. Versions, I don't change it. I don't think you have to. Um, Cause when on my game, Icy Runners or whatever, if I change the name, I don't change it. But for bund bundle version code, every time you update the game, okay, every time you update the game, like let's say you do a bug fix or just like add a new map or something. Every time you update the game, you have to add it by one. So like, let's say it's the second update, add it by two. So like normally keep it at one, but the next time you update the game, change it to two, then again, three, then four. So just keep doing that. Make sure the Android is on, the minimum, minimum API level is on Android 6.0, Marshmallow, then automatic highest installed, target API level. Then you wanna scroll down to, scroll all the way down to publishing settings. Then, okay, so then once you're in here, once you're in publishing settings, you wanna click key store manager then create new uh, anywhere, and just cl click save. Then password, they, they do this just to make sure it's like you or something. Just create a password that you will remember. Then Elias is like the name of the game. 
alias or whatever i don't know how to pronounce i'm i'm dumb then i'm just gonna name it uh tutorial then password put in your password again this doesn't really matter just keep it 50 then all this doesn't matter it's um all optional but the organization you should put it to like your youtube channel or something like i put my nicycle vr or just like an organization that you're in then click add key click yes okay and then what every time you like publish the game it'll ask you to put in your password again so just always put it in when you're done i just want to exit out of that i'm just going to save then now you go to build settings so then once you're in here if you want it to just be a steam vr game then just keep it like this but if you want it you're like you don't have to be plugged in and quest 2 and stuff just click android and then switch platform okay so then once that's download once that's uh changed click add open scene texture compression astc Ch keep this at 32 bit make sure all these are off create symbols Okay, create symbols disabled run device when you click on it it should do something like loading if it doesn't that's fine i think then change it to all compatible devices now just keep this on lz4 make sure all these are off then just click build and now it'll ask you to put an apk so just name your file like your game name just like uh, uh <laughs> okay i'm just gonna make name mine tutorial i'm bad and then just click save and it should start downloading and making your game. <laughs> Once it's build, uh, I'm not gonna be showing you how to do it in this tutorial, but you can sideload the game using side quest to, and give your friends the APK, APK link if they wanna try it, they wanna play your game comment down below if you want to see a t if you want me to make a tutorial on how to sideload so yeah this is your vr game thank you for watching guys and still again thank you for 10k subs it's insane and i'll see you guys later peace